So, we're looking at a new interesting feature of Equid or ECWID, uh, e-commerce widget, Equid.com's uh, e-commerce solution in the product editor, in the product gallery. We have add videos to product gallery. Now, I have a fully fledged account, but as an early adopter, um, not entitled to uh, latest upgrade features because I have a special price. I'm not going to upgrade because it wouldn't benefit me. I would have less categories and a less number of products and I'd be paying more money. But uh, I'd like to talk about this so I can't try it because I'm not going to upgrade but I can talk about it. Uh, that it's a good idea. It's a great idea, but I'm uh, I'm not sure how much the Equid company and the idea mongers behind this are aware or pl have plans for the future of Web three with this, or if it's just kind of a a feature addition to see what happens. But what I'd like to do is to present what is actually the future of e-commerce whether Equid know it or not by adding this feature and me looking at it and thinking about it it's made me realize something because I've been working with Equid product editor since 2010 and Equid was formed in 2009 so as an early adopter I was one of the first people to join which is why I have a special price because uh, I'd added 2000 products when they added the weights feature uh, well not the weights but for example yeah so then I'd have to add a feature so if it was weights for example <laughs> I'd have to go back and individually add the weight to each of the 2000 products I've already programmed so every time they added a new feature all my previously programmed products it was just too much because my kind of online stores don't have 20 products of one brand name they have it's more like a, an eBay style thing I have hundreds of thousands of products from hundreds of makers yeah so um, to go back is a hassle and that's why I got the cheap price because as early adopter you had to put up with those kind of disadvantages when new features were introduced and then as soon as it was considered fully fledged uh, then after that and uh, early adopters didn't get any more of the extra features so for about the first three or four years of updates uh, I got everything and I have everything I need for a great online store so I consider that very far from Equid with the early adopter but it's just not worth it to me to upgrade so let's talk about the future of uh, e-commerce and web3 and moving on beyond that and with AI uh, here it says add videos to product gallery so use videos to catch shoppers attention and build their trust <clears throat> so this is the pitch or the the explanation yeah um, videos can also improve SEO and increase organic traffic from search engines from up by up to 157 percent so first of all use videos to catch shoppers attention and build their trust I would say what I'm writing and my pictures are equally capable of catching shoppers attention and building their trust first the critique and uh, the statement that videos can improve SEO well not necessarily but yes uh, if there's a video in a page Google categorizes uh, videos and content that has a video in it differently in search as content that doesn't yeah and the video itself also is separately indexed but I don't believe that uh, putting that into a product gallery in Equid is going to improve SEO at all because Google can't read the Equid gallery very well and it definitely can't read the text in the product editor very well or any URLs to any products with all of the strange hashtags and exclamation marks and strange, very strange long URLs they have in Equid. But, what I would like to say is that this is 
in any case, still a great idea and it's a great feature to have. And it's a great idea, hats off to Equid, because they're one of the first to, not the first, but one of the first to do this and to join this bandwagon. The thing is, what I was just thinking, here's the, what takes the biscuit, or here's the rub, is that if here was a video, first, my first question is, in my storefront, yeah, if I go to my storefront, the first image, yeah, uh, I just want to continue this first. Uh, they used to do what I do, it's good marketing to tell the truth. And it is the truth that videos can also improve SEO and, inc well, n improve SEO can, maybe, yeah, and increase organic traffic from search engines by up to 157%. Yes, if it's a video on YouTube or if it's a video page, but if it's a video inside a product gallery on Equid in your website, inserted as a widget, as mixed content, I'm really not sure if Google's going to get that because it does catch images, some, some of them, maybe one image. And so my next question is, if I put the first image, which if you go to my website, you'll see the first thumbnail. So the top left image there. to one of my websites you will see as you go over it as I hover shows the back but what if this was a video so if that was a video would it be a thumbnail yeah meaning if I put this image I could do this yeah like that if I could put this image as a video, the first image, so that the default image is a video. Will the video autoplay, so long as the browser of the user allows autoplay, of course? Because I can't upgrade to check. Not I can't, I won't. Yeah? Have to upgrade to add videos, yeah? But this is the truth with videos and pages that have a video titled. But I, I don't know if videos within this product editor can improve your SEO and increase organic traffic. And I think this statement which is a general generic statement about videos is true. But it's deceptive because it's trying to make you think that putting a video inside your gallery here. Yeah. It's going to improve your SEO and increase organic traffic. And that, I won't say is true or not, but I seriously doubt it because I know that it's very difficult for this content here to get in indexed in Google, yeah? However, putting a video in there is a good idea. It's a great idea because it gives more dimension to it. And I make videos with product descriptions and I video my products on YouTube. And I actually insert them into my product uh, descriptions. I'm just writing this one up so I don't have a video. But what I was thinking was, considering this doesn't get indexed by Google very well, yeah, doesn't get indexed, I can blog this in my WordPress website, which is here, which has my Equid, ECWID store widget inserted here inside a WordPress website, yeah. So, I could write this as a blog because Google would get that if I write this in my blog. Because these, these get into Google. These are blogs. Yeah? As you can see here, I wrote up this shirt. It's a sacred geometry shirt. And I also put the product in the bottom as a widget, yeah? Because you can, I can insert, I can insert the store or a category of the store which is from this particular maker into the bottom. Which by the way, 
ruins your URLs in Google. If I clicked on that, the URL to this blog post changes. But this blog post gets in Google. That was my point, yeah? Whereas, whereas, in the store, which notice how the Equid store takes a few moments to load. It's a bit slow as well. In the store, this content, and look how long it takes. This is another complaint about Equid a little bit. It's a bit slow. In the store, this content here, if I blog it in WordPress, Google gets it. If I write it up here in Equid, product editor, it doesn't get it. It's not indexed. It gets the odd one sometimes, but hardly. So, anyway, if you put a video as the main image instead of a picture, would, would that main picture here uh, still flip? If you had it set like that in Equid to show alternative image on hover, on a laptop, or on tap, on a mobile, if you tap and hold it does that on the Equid e-commerce widget, yeah? If this is a video, will it run? Lastly, why should I write this in here and put all these pictures in here if I can put a video there? And here's the future of Web3, right? Here's coming to the point what I started with, is that if I put a video here, the video can be a complete video showing every side of the item you have for sale, an analysis with narrative and your marketing pitch or whatever you want to put in there, yeah, and be fully informative and just post that and the title here. So you post a title like in YouTube, you just post a title, a description, a short description. So here's your title, a description, very short like in YouTube, and the video. And no more pictures, you don't need any. You can put it all in the video. If you can edit a video and make a product video, and put your narrative in the video. And save all of the writing and blogging, and product write-up and info for blogging on your website. And then you can go to the Buy Now button and embed the product which I'll just save first, embed the product, yeah, and you can take this, if you want, uh, you can put it under an image in the blog, like that, make a larger image, if you've got the writing already, do that, or however you want, yeah, take the condi and stock out, because I've only got one, take the border off, center it or adjust your button only if you want to post and write it yourself in the blog and insert that into the blog post yeah insert it into the blog post which I may have inserted this one let's see it's loading I've inserted something see how long that took for Equid to load. So it's much worth it to blog your stuff on your website and insert, there it is, I inserted the product. Here it is, the product. So I can buy it right now. So it's inserted into a blog and that blog gets in Google. There's another one but it's been sold so I inserted two. Yeah. But the future of Web3 is no more of this because, as it says here, well, it doesn't say here, but about 85% of most content con uh, consumed on the internet is video or audio or both, not reading. And most of the rest is looking at images and very little reading text. So humans are becoming illiterate in that sense, apart from the people who are writing and creating the content. <laughs> so, the future is, of an e-commerce store is, for now, later it'll be in VR, of course, or AR, but uh, for now is, you've got a product title, a 
let's have a look here you've got the product title here you've got a video and that's it you don't have a gallery you don't have this writing you just have a product title yeah product title maybe some the weights and stuff here a little bit for equid to calculate yeah your prices your options and casing options or packing options or whatever options your online store has you put them here and that's it here you've got a video you click the video or it, or it auto plays depending on your browser settings and you've got an explanation speaking or written with uh, subtitles in all languages AI translated and a narrative and uh, moving pictures and you can see all sides of the image so it's like a better than a 360 image and there you've got it multimedia and then you can add to bag and you don't need a picture gallery here you don't need a write up here you just need the options and the attributes written here the title a small description the price the buy button and the video yeah and there you go later it'll be in vr and you'll be moving your hand to say yes putting your hand up if you want to buy it in an auction and stuff but for now that's the future of an e-commerce store is a video an explanatory video which you click on and watch or it just rolls here and you have your specifications here and your buy button and you get rid of all this gallery and write up so it goes from static to dynamic web 3 so a great idea by equid and a great step forward as to whether it's seo friendly well nothing inside this product editor is seo friendly to be honest which is why I laugh at this, which I don't upgrade because it's not going to enhance my SEO by titling it one way as a product and then giving it a page title and a meta description. Because if I insert that into a WordPress page or a HTML page on my own custom website that already has a page title and a meta description, then this is going to be a double page title and a double meta description. And you know what? search engines do not like that at all and it gets flagged in um, not webmaster tools google search console yeah and bing webmaster tools yeah so i would definitely not recommend upgrading is okay you upgrade as much as you want those who need it there's plenty of reasons to upgrade to the the, the top account in equin it's a great service i'm not criticizing that if it wasn't great, I wouldn't be using them. They're great. But this is not going to enhance the SEO. No. It's going to give you a double page title and a double meta description. Possibly, depending on what platform you're using. If it's WordPress, for sure it is. Going to give you, if you're WordPress and you're using an SEO plugin, then you're screwing yourself up with double page titles. And I know because that's happened to me. That's happened to me yeah okay and the other thing is great idea a video but with the video what you're doing is actually potentially slowly but surely doing away with people's need to actually photograph loads of images photograph photoshop them and do long write-ups because all you're going to need is the attributes the options, if you've got any, which I do in most, but not in this item. Your shipping, your related products, maybe, yeah. Which I'll explain another day. And, uh, well, it's just your recommended products underneath the product. But as I see it, like this, if the shop is... I'm cutting off the left side of this browser so you're not seeing everything in my browser I'm sorry about that but I have my reasons um, if it's a video so it's dynamic content I call it if this was a video so it's not going to do that and become a gallery anymore uh, that's a video then here you have your encasement options your variables 
my product details so that is your attributes here yeah uh, they would have to be probably over here and fit into one page and then here you've got the video yeah well it depends how many options and attributes you do I can make these attributes appear here but because I have so many in my case yeah so that's an interfacing problem anyway but uh, basically if you can have all of your attributes and options within this a title in case Google gets it and just so that the reader and uh, the customer knows what it is a small description the SKU the price the basic data about it your add to bag save this product for later and here the video with the with the the selling points and all views of the item for sale in 4k or hd and that's all you need really you, do, you don't need anything else for e-commerce so that's pretty good we'd have to make video editors out of everybody content creators but you're already doing that if you're writing up a product and doing photographs you're creating content but it's static so um e-commerce with dynamic content instead of image galleries that would also change how Google search has to approach how they index things as well and change it if all online stores started posting a video as their gallery item there'd be no need for a, a text description really just a small text description but there'd be no need for a product write-up like for this product to sell it if you don't know what it is, I have to post photos of the authenticity certificate and uh, photos from all angles because they're expensive items and original items, no two the same and write up the biography of the monk who made the amulet and write up uh, the meaning of the amulet, what it means, its origins, its history, how to use it what is believed about it, the whole biography of the monk who made it, look at all this text, yeah? I mean, this is a mega blog post. Create the incantation for the amulet on YouTube as a video, you see? There's a video, that's a bit dynamic content, yeah? So, that would be the content instead of the instead of all this and that that is the recommended products at the bottom you may also like which is related products if you enable it you can add five random products or change the category yeah all amulets or whatever you want or you can add manually whatever products you want to recommend and they will appear here at the bottom of your product write-up but there you go if all we have in the near future is here a video with a narrative if I upgraded that's what I'd do I'd put all of these blogs in WordPress instead of the product editor and put a link read about it in my blog here and that's it and here the video explaining any, everything that would save me hours of all this photoshopping look I've got 23 photos here no plus 23 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 I've got 30 photos there some I have 75 photos all photoshopped that's hours of work yeah and then what is it to insert them here and write all of this and translate it from Thai, lang Thai language into English or read it and then write it myself yeah and take the photos and photoshop them find the biography in Thai of the monk and translate it and God knows what yeah I've got 30 years of studies in this yeah and so it would be very easy for me to just get my iPhone out or whatever phone I have and video this like I do for my descriptions on YouTube which I will insert, if I videoed this, I would insert it into this write-up. But uh, with this new feature here, whoa! Sorry, it nearly went. <laughs> with this new feature here, 
that becomes all no longer necessary. I can just upload the same video to Equid and that's it. I don't need a write-up. What do I need all this for? And I just started writing, you know, I could write Laura Mipsum, Laura Mipsum forever here and that that is going to be very long. I'm going to write about 15 times as much as we have here and insert at least 15 images into here, yeah? Whereas if I inserted a video here, I wouldn't insert any no more pictures and I'd just put a slight description there or just here. And right here, say click, watch the video for the product description. And then they watch the video here. And that's it. It's your content. Here's your video of your product. Here's your info about the product. Here's your add to bag. And you don't need the gallery. That's Web3 e-commerce. So thank you, Edward, for that great new feature. I hope you can ponder upon how I see it. If you've managed to watch this video to the end. And if anybody finds this video on YouTube who uses Equid, I hope that is, uh, provokes a bit of thought for you as well as to the future of e-commerce and just as to this new feature, the pros and cons of it. There's a lot of pros to it. I just wouldn't swallow all of this, what it says here, to get me to upgrade. But if I were to upgrade, it wouldn't be because of what it says here. It would be because I could save myself all this work of all these photos and just make a video about it. A much clearer explanation, much easier, much less time consuming. And I could upload it to YouTube and put it in here as a product description and save a lot of time. So that's why it's a great idea. And maybe one day I will upgrade, but if I get really lazy because, or if I see that really is going to be how e-commerce is going. And that's why I didn't take 360 pictures because I knew a new 360 video and picture was going to deprecate. YouTube stopped the video 360. They used to allow 360 video uploads and now it's deprecated. And I believe Equid also had some 360 video uh, images for this product gallery once, but that deprecated. I might be wrong, I can't remember. Or it was another solution I use. But uh, these 360 images are going out of fashion. 360 degree turn all the way around images, drag to, to spin. Uh, with the rendering in different devices, it's just too difficult. It's just too much of a hassle. And people don't like it. It's just too much of a hassle. It doesn't work in all browsers and God knows what. So I skipped that knowing something else was coming better. And here it is, video. But I might skip that as well because by the time people start sticking videos in with a video thumbnail as their product thumbnail and the storefront, uh, we might already be looking at making my own virtual store uh, and people in VR just actually walking around my store and uh, I, th there could be ready-made store templates that people can walk around an Asian store, uh, a coffee shop type store, a clothes store and you just use the theme of a VR clothes store and you hang all of your clothes for sale on you know, which you've scanned with your LiDAR scanner and people can walk around and shop yeah? And maybe even look at themselves in the mirror and try it on, you know. This technology is right in motion in the moment with different kinds of sensor technology being developed to enable this to become much more, uh, uh, what would you call that, more engaging, the experience. But for now, okay, video becomes a dynamic multimedia way of having your e-commerce storefront instead of product thumbnails you have videos like in YouTube like on the home page feed of YouTube or Facebook videos or YouTube shorts you've got a stream or what do you call it a feed a news feed and so the storefront of Equid of your Equid store would be like 
a video feed instead of a load of thumbnails. Don't blame me about that slow loading, blame me quit. So here you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten video thumbnails, right? And if you hovered over them, the video would start going. And maybe you could even switch on the sound and listen to it to preview it. Yeah? So you could maybe even hit the buy now without even going into the product. But I would recommend that because here you have your casing. Which if you add to bag then it doesn't appear anymore, I don't think. Yeah? Let's add to bag. Oh, I can't be bothered. And it, you see, no, it won't let you. It'll make you do the casing, yeah, none. So you yeah, add to bag, yeah. But so what happens if I add to bag? Let's just have a look before I go. Let's try to buy now. If that was a video and I hovered over it and the video played and the narrative went and it convinced me to buy it and I press buy now. What happens now? Ah, it takes me here. Okay. So you do get the options. That's okay. That's okay then. So you don't skip the options. Well, that's fine. You could then let the video roll from the thumbnail as a preview, like in YouTube, on the video news feed, and just have videos and a title and a buy now button. And you wouldn't even have to go in there. That's all you would need. Unless you wanted to watch the video full screen. Look how slow it would load. That's a very a complaint, by the way, repeatedly. Full screen, then you go there, yeah? Otherwise, you can preview and buy like this let the video roll let the video roll let the video roll i like it i buy now and then i have to choose my casing options or whatever other options what color i want t-shirt i want or whatever i sell niche stuff so if you're selling t-shirts it'll be what color what size yeah and so on so there you go thank you equid for your new feature very nice I'm a little bit skeptical about these claims here, but okay. Can't say it's not true. It's true in a way, but not necessarily if you put it in here. But in general, it's true. Uh, watch out for the SEO with double titles. If you're using an SEO plugin in WordPress or your own custom site that already has titles and descriptions in every page and post, then putting this in and inserting a product into a blog post that has its own page title and meta description is going to screw you up with Google. So be very careful where you insert. If you insert these products, don't insert them if you've done that. Giving it a product name, product page title, meta description, then insert it into a page in WordPress with an SEO plugin that also gives your WordPress page a, a title and a meta description, then it's double. And that's not good. So watch that. Otherwise, if anybody does upgrade or have the top version and has added videos, I'd like to see what it looks like. I'd like to see what it looks like, I really would. Or if Equid could make a demonstration, please, to see what it looks like. If you hover over there, if you do a short video with a narrative saying, hey, this is a test video with a narrative, end of story, finished video, five seconds long, yeah, we can see in test, okay, if I hover over, does it preview? Or if I tap and hold on a mobile screen, does it preview? On a laptop, if I hover over with the cursor, does it preview? And run the video, yeah? And in which case, start thinking, oh. So they click to go in, and they've got the options and attributes. Or they can just... Buy now is also click to go in. Actually, clicking here to go in or pressing buy now is the same. It's the same. It doesn't add to cart. It's only when you go in that you have to. So you have to go in anyway and see the full version. But definitely, Equid, I would say, or ask, have you thought that when you do this, instead of having the alternative image, the video will roll? I bet you have. I'm sure you have. If you haven't, then you should. And that the sound, depending on the browser settings, basically, if the sound's going to roll or not, that's not up to Equid. It's up to the browser and the settings of the browser of the owner of the PC. 
but that it should be set to autoplay and then the browser settings will change whether it does or not yeah and basically that's all you need to do to sell is that people roll over the video listen to the narrative or watch the pictures decide if they want it yeah and if the video is a narrative then you've got your description of course it's one language but this also isn't get you do have multi-language to translate this into different languages but that's pointless these days because browsers are starting to translate it for you and uh, translation is getting really really good uh, AI translation so um, to manually write in the product editor in Spanish English Chinese German and French the same product write-up manually isn't worth it anymore but Equid actually does have that multiple language product editor but I don't use that because I skip it I know that technology is moving so fast that it's gonna be deprecated and unnecessary within the next couple of years yeah it already is becoming unnecessary you can see a YouTube video uh, titled in English when you click on it the guy speaking in Indonesian or Chinese that's because when you upload when I upload a YouTube video I can add languages and give it titles and descriptions in different languages but the video is in English so it, it's actually bad SEO it's good SEO to catch traffic but what's the point in a Japanese person who can't understand English clicking on a video that's got a Japanese title yeah and when he hits it and he starts watching it there's an English guy talking English and he can't understand a word he's just gonna press the back button so that was a feature of YouTube that is now slowly about to deprecate because people don't see a reason and uh, YouTube is now auto translating things with subtitles getting better at it all the time yeah there's mistakes but it's getting really faster better faster all the time so subtitles are solving that would an equid video do that no whereas if I upload to YouTube and insert it into the product editor into the product write-up like I did look at that loading time at least it lets me scroll didn't used to let you scroll like I did with this yeah inserted this video from YouTube yeah? how to chant for this amulet yeah that will have if I want the subtitles if I go to YouTube on that and then I can do the settings I can do auto translate the subtitles yeah, into English or into Chinese or into Thai or whatever yeah? and it will try and auto translate it this is pretty niche content by the way it'd be pretty difficult for Google to do it but with general content yeah so there an equid video is not going to be auto translating subtitles for you yeah that's for sure so you'll be stuck to the language you're in whereas if you had a written write-up which they do in every product have written write-ups well this was supposed to be a very short screencast uh, yeah I mean written write-ups do have their merits right it shows the author has really put a lot in there and these are the recommended contents yeah I, I forgot what I was going to the point but there you go so there you go I think let's see if this becomes a phase and a fashion in e-commerce that we have yeah, it's a video with narrative and uh, oh yeah what I was talking about was translation so this you could like copy and paste it all or go to Google Translate and take the URL take the, the, the URL of the of the page and ask Google to translate it into French or Italian or whatever you want yeah or copy and paste it into Google Translate which I know better ways to translate this stuff actually online than using those translation methods but Google Translate is not bad and, and translate that whereas if it's a video in Equid here you're gonna have a job for people in other languages to understand it whereas if it was a YouTube video that you could insert as a URL yeah instead of what I mean here is instead of adding let's see 
No. I have to save again. So if I add video, I can't add a video. I have to upgrade, yeah? I wanted to see the dialogue if I click, yeah? Because if you add a video, it might say upload or it might say add URL from YouTube. If it allows you to add a URL from YouTube and reach it to appear here, that would be great because then the translations would be in there. And you and uh, Equid would save a lot of uh, server space as well on Amazon AWS, which is what they use, I believe. Uh, so I can't see that. I don't know if adding a video is going to be just an upload dialogue or if there's going to be add by URL. I do know if I put an image here, all I can do is upload. The earlier version of the product editor, you did use TinyMC and you could either upload or you could put the URL of an image and reach it from your own website. Yeah, you could insert an image here using a URL. Yeah, but you can't now. You can't now. You can just insert an image, yeah? But you can't buy URL. So I seriously doubt that this gallery, although the gallery is separate from this, this is very limited. You can see it here it says insert video, yeah? Video embed code. You don't need to do that anymore because this product editor is here. If you actually just paste the link to the video there, or paste the embed code here, you just paste it straight there, the video will appear. So you don't need to use that. And actually, if you have uh, your finder, or your, uh, open your folders and just drag an image from your computer in here, drag and drop, that will also upload. So you don't even need that anymore, the insert image. But it's not going to disappear because this doesn't belong to Equid. It belongs to Redactor. It's the Redactor product editor and it's very, very bad. Very bad indeed. It makes really, this is my code, but if you start formatting with these things here, it starts putting the strangest inline CSS and spans and all sorts of ridiculous, unnecessary code. It's horrible. Anyway, that's it. Add video to product gallery. Potentially changes the approach to how the presentation of products in a storefront might be. Because in a storefront, you would then have possibly video thumbnails with narratives. Hopefully translatable, inserted by URL from YouTube. But I would expect them to be mere uploads to Equid. So they will be single language. Yeah? Unless you put your own, I don't know. I don't think they could take the metadata of you putting two, two an English and a Spanish sound recording and then let them choose which language. Not even YouTube can do that yet. I've tried it, I want to do two, two, I'm polyglot, I can do five languages, six languages, so I could actually potentially do the same video and record six narratives in, five and six narratives in different languages, all in one video, and let YouTube decide, let the user decide which one to choose. But it doesn't work, I can only do one video at a time with one language. So that's something for the future, to make easier for end users, for content creators, to be able to make multi-language videos. And uh, so anyway, if, if insertable from YouTube as a video, let the video thumbnail roll and play here. Yeah, uh, The title and the buy button, then I think you've just shortened and made much more interactive uh, the user interface of e-commerce, uh, the, the, the face, the changing face of e-commerce, yeah? That here it should look like YouTube. It should all be just a load of video thumbnails. Mouse over to roll the video and listen and see if you want to buy it and then click. And when you click, then you have to choose your options. Look how slow Equid is. Uh, oh, you see, no, it did take me to check out. 
So, oh, because I had already added it to bag, that's why. That's why. That's why. I'd already added it to bag. I'd already added it to the bag. Yeah. So let's try buy now. Again. No. So it doesn't take you. It does not take you. It does not. You see, that's not good. That's not good. So this isn't in my bag. Let's press buy now. This should take me to the page for encasement options. No. Nope. That's very silly. Because before you buy, you should choose an encasement. And so that buy now button is also very ridiculous. I have to make a different short screencast to show Equid about that. That this buy now is very silly because people don't see the options that may, might be able to choose to change the color or to encase it or whatever. Yeah. So that's very stupid. This buy now button should just actually bring them into the product here so that they can choose the encasement or whatever, what color, what size, medium, XL, small t-shirt, medium t-shirt. They should do that. So that buy button, I just noticed that after 10 years just realized that that is a problem. And now I realize where some customers have said, I didn't see there was casing until I already bought it. That's because they clicked buy now from the storefront without realizing that I offer them the option to put it inside a frame. Yeah. And if it was t-shirts, there would be different sizes and different colors. It might have black or red or white, small, medium, large, XL. But if they press buy now, they'll just get whatever it was set to default small size or medium in black. And never know that they could choose a large one in red. So that's really stupid. That's really oversight by, or undersight I would call it. It's an oversight, there's an undersight by equid.com. So there you go. A few more points added to what I began with about adding videos. But adding videos is very thought provoking as to what the future of user interfacing in e-commerce websites and how a storefront could look when it becomes like a YouTube feed with rollover to play videos, yeah? Maybe you can even have picture in picture and be listening to uh, and watching a product description whilst just scrolling through and clicking on other uh, blogs and other content within the website and the store whilst you're still deciding whether to buy the video with a buy button on top of the video as well. So that's an idea for Equid to do with the upload video feature here. And I shall end with that. So, John Spencer, Aka, the webmaster, because that's probably where I'm going to upload this, to my webmaster channel, very small channel on YouTube, signing off. And I'm going to share this with the Equid team and hope they have the time to look and listen and hopefully learn something. I've learned something today from them, from seeing this feature. I hope they can learn something from my feedback from seeing this feature. John Spencer, the webmaster, signing off.